How's it going Rogues Gallery? Today we have a video that I'm actually really, really excited to cover because it is a independent game as about as indie as you can get called Domin Rhapsody. This game, I actually have this starter deck, another starter deck, and a bunch of booster packs that I'm gonna kind of show off in just a minute. But this game is super cool. It's made by just a sole individual. Her name is Anna from Mexico. And she basically does everything. She makes the art, she designs the cards. I'm incredibly impressed. Um, just you know, someone having the willpower to do something like this is super, super cool and very, very inspirational to me. I think it's actually incredibly awesome. She's been making the game since February of 2018 and she puts out like new sets every few months. I think it's actually really, once again, really, really impressive. Here are some of the booster packs. And as you can see, man, the art, I have them upside down. The art is beautiful. Let's see if we can get this maybe in focus. So like the art is absolutely fantastic. And like I said, she does it all herself. I will have links to the game in the comments or rather in the description down below, as well as uh, links to her like Instagram and Facebook and all that kind of stuff. If you'd like to check this out, I love this one. This one is, is, is beautiful. I really like the art in this one. And I picked up, you know, all of these booster packs. So these are kind of what the booster packs look like. They're, they're pretty hefty. They're actually pretty heavy. So I got six here, but that's not all. I also got two of these like little Special ones, Archetype Assembly Volume 1. Let's see if I can get this one on camera. We will open these all up and look at them in much greater detail, but I'm really excited to get into these. I think they're also like booster packs in the uh, the two big starter decks. I think these are her like two first official like structure major starter decks with like two of the main characters. But um, yeah, without further ado, let's get on with this. I, I'm really excited. And like I said, overall, very impressed before I even look at the cards. I mean, just look at this. Imagine doing this by yourself, just making a game by yourself, art, design, everything. That That's insane, insane. Anyway, let's get started. Domin Rhapsody. I've had these for, you know, a few days now and I've been really excited to open them up. We have the Forgotten Sages structure deck as well as the Shadow Calling structure deck. We'll probably open up these ones first, but before we do that, I'm gonna show you off, show you off, I'm gonna show you the other things we're gonna be opening, the Archetype Assembly. I bought two of these because they seemed really cool and special. Special pack. Yeah, see, that's right, <laughs> they are special. And I also got two of these boosters. This is the uh, new, or the Veil Collection Part 1. I think these are some of the newer ones. Um, I think these go with the, uh, the structure decks. And then we have this one, which is beautiful magicka of dusk we have the uh metal giants another very beautiful one dream seekers and then last but certainly not least because it's my favorite one the silent oath of the ancients i think that's how you say it yeah i'm really stoked before we get into this i do kind of want to give you a quick kind of rundown um i did ask the creator of this game about it before i wanted to make a video and so i'm going to kind of give you a rundown of what she said because like i said at the start this game is actually made by a sole individual, which is, once again, very, very impressive. So her name is Anna. She has a nickname of Chrono. And like I said at the start, we're gonna have links in the description down below of where you can buy this game and check out all of her stuff. She's been making the game from mechanics to packaging, design, and art since uh, February 2018. The sets are divided in waves. Both Wave 1 and Wave 2 had four starter decks and four booster packs made. And she's currently working on Wave 3, which includes two starter decks, the new structure decks, which are these right here, and a booster pack called the Veil Collection Part 1, which you've already seen. I also asked her about the future of the game, and she said that there's going to be more structure decks, you know, once again, like these, as well as new booster packs and uh, themed ones. She's currently working on the newest set of cards. She says she also posts uh, sneak previews on her Instagram. So if you like this, check it out. I think it's awesome just supporting these like super indie things. Just the passion of some people really comes through in the stuff that they do. And I think, you know, this one, this one really shows. So yeah, without further ado, let's start opening these up. We'll start out with the red one, I think. I also mentioned at the start of the video that these are made by the game crafter. So I mean, she does not make the cards. Like, she doesn't have a printer. She doesn't like print the cards her herself. So any quality speaks to the game crafter quality in terms of like, you know, actual product quality, not like the art and that kind of stuff. Cool. So let's just uh, open this up and see. I love how it just has like some, uh, it's got a little, little, bit, little bit of packaging. I have opened up some stuff from the game crafter before. That will be in a future video. Um, so we have, okay, so 
Comes with one of the start or one of the booster packs. It's really cool. So we'll be opening up four of these today. Here is a like how to play guide. We'll look at that in just a second. I know it comes with dice. Look at that. Some dice and some little crystal crystal thingamajigger. Thing thingamajiggers. And then shadow calling. So this is the deck itself. Sweet. Oh, it says Game Crafter down there in the bottom. Let's uh let's open up the dice real quick. Just kind of take a look at it. Um, like I said. This is really looking at the quality of Game Crafter products, not really the quality of this game in particular. So we got some got some dice here. If we can get it in focus, not too bad. As well as this very shiny little crystal dice, looks almost like a uh, rock candy or something like that. Then of course here is the deck with awesome looking artwork just right off the bat. But we'll look at that in just a second. Here is the official rulebook 2.0. So if you wanted to pick this up. Um, it looks like it has some like new revamped rules. We're not going to go really go into it right now, but I just kind of wanted to share with you kind of like a general layout. You know, it's full color, looks very pretty. Um, very, you know, it reminds me of like the original like Yu Gi Oh rulebook, to be completely honest. And that's, that's not a bad thing, you know. I use that a lot to remember like to learn how to play Mirage Zone, Magic Technique. I don't really know how to play because, you know, this is my first time. Okay, so this is very important common, uncommon, rare. Ultra Rare Legendary. We want to see some five dot cards. Yeah, so we have this. We'll set that off to the side. Let's take a look at the card. So this is Night Wolf School. Or sc School. School. Um, very sweet. Looks like a two rarity card. Night Wolf Hati. All right. And I do have to say, the quality It's not too bad. It's actually not too bad at all. It's kind of got like a matte finish slightly it's not really that raised but it's slight slightly indented you can kind of see it a little bit yeah very very nice you know these are these are very very nice and definitely like a of a playable playable card stock these are also just standard card size so to kind of compare it here is a we cross card in a uh, shadow verse sleeve and we're gonna stick this card in here and see how well it fits and the answer is perfectly so yeah, standard card sleeve size. Okay, so let's get to the rest of the deck or else this video is going to take a long time. Task of the Blacksmith. Summoner Apprentice. Ooh, look at these guys. Oh, look, they look crazy. They reminded me of something from like Full Metal Alchemist. And once again, keep in mind that all of the art is done by a single person. Lord of Vampires, Alucard. Yo, he's a legendary, dude. It's five dots. I mean, he's Alucard. It's gotta be legendary. Black Papyrus of the Imp. I am going to play this game with my girlfriend and see how it goes. Uh, might do like an update video on that or... Yo, I love the face. It looks awesome. Mithril Daggers. Puppet of Shadows, Vlad. Small shadow. There's a lot of like darkness and shadows and some little, little fuzzy creatures. We have... Um, how do you pronounce this? Azogu? Azogu? Augmented Hunter. It's the Augmented Hunter. We got another Night Wolf. And another Night Wolf, Task of the Blacksmith. Another Summoner Apprentice. It looks like we have some dupes here. Uh, Life Amulet. Uh, Albino Knight Dragon. It's a support card. Hmm. Bat crazy. Yeah, it definitely looks bat crazy. Got a, got a rookie vamp. Another minion shadow. Man, I just love the art. It's so good, dude. Night Hunter Blazing. Man, I just wish that I had the talent. To do something like that. Look at that dude. He's just, he's got like washboard abs. Fenrir. He is, he's quite, quite buff. Got an armored exorcist. Battle cry. Call of the night. Ooh, Dark Lord Loki. It's pretty cool looking. Reunion. That was a token. It's got like a little, like manga style. Thank you for supporting this project. You are welcome. Thank you for making it. I think it's really cool. Citadel of Nocturnal Lights. We got these uh, cheeky gardeners. Aw, oh, dude. I love it. And we're going to flip through these. Yo, Shard Stealer Ghost. Kind of, it's like a purple grammar. Mithril Daggers. So you do have like a good chunk of cards in here. They are, and this one looks awesome too. Deja Vu, huh? And another small shadow. So it looks like you get multiple copies of the cards, which is, you know, what you want in a card game. You want to get that consistency. I'm curious if just the card backs are the same for all of the cards. Yeah, they are. Sweet, so there is that deck. Let's open up this booster pack. Very interested to see 
what a booster pack from like the game crafters looks like or feels like it looks like there's a little pull tab here i don't know if there's foils i really really do not know what to expect i've never seen any of these opened or anything um i did find out about this card game by a viewer though they're like yo you should check this out and i'm glad i did we got this prismatic punk xander so it has the the three stars here or the three dots hold on let's let's see what these exactly are so three is rare so common uncommon rare ultra and then legendary so this is a rare card xander this is uncommon ash he's just he's just taking a little bath you know we got a baby salamander that's a common so i think all the rest are all the rest going to be commons hmm oh ultra rare hold up chessite king yo that looks look at that face dude that's gnarly okay so they've got another uncommon item retrieval another prismatic punk zeon rules of nature petrification magic circle of beginning very interesting border on this one we got angelic barrier so this is a rare <laughs> you got a chubby bunny <laughs> oh i love it gunslinger myra i like her she's awesome i love her crazy expression expression got waltz and a uh saber wielder quill support very interesting i think the, the coloring up here kind of tells you what type of card they are so this one's like a dream card for example very interesting we did get a an ultra rare that's pretty cool so that was that starter deck let's open up the other starter deck i mean structure deck they're not starter decks it's, it's different i believe structure decks have in, in just in general in terms of card games structure decks are a little bit more uh flashy they have like more like better cards basically um yeah nice so let's open this up we're gonna have that tissue paper yeah, yeah. You eat that eat that off to the side and then we have what i would guess blue yeah there we go got blue dice nice very very in theme uh we have another booster pack we have the deck that says forgotten sages deck that is the correct one as i knock over my pile here as well as a how-to play booklet we're not going to go over that again and we're gonna just kind of take a peek inside so let's take a look at the deck first and then we will look at the booster pack and then we're just gonna open up all the rest of the booster packs and take a look at all the cards yeah i'm actually having a ton of fun so this is the ouroboros realm it's pretty gnarly dude yo look it's so cute magical fluff magical chronicle revival totem or magic chronicle we have wolf breed subaru diamond prince ari vlin kovtar i have no idea how to pronounce this uh, sages ode negation brick wall there's definitely a lot of like husbando characters so if you're into that kind of stuff i think you'll really like this game rewind dusk sage vermilion looks really sweet tiny sorcerer vost card battle oh it's another token yo thank you for supporting this project you're welcome once again i like this wait, wait hold on i wasn't looking at the rarities we did, did we pass something sweet i have a feeling we might have passed something sweet do we have a legendary so far okay no legendary so far the other one had alucard i wonder what this one's gonna be so we have uh shikoba symbiote it looks really cool once again like, keep this in mind one person did this entire game lycan warrior um setebos setebos it's a symbiont it's got three it's a rarity yo mini fancy mini magical fluff is adorable i know a dog that looks like that um, another mini magical fluff we got a revival totem wolf breed subaru we have uh i don't know how i'm just gonna call this one clay uh fluffo mimi toy maker just all about the fluffy we have another blink yo that looks sweet survival of the fittest yeah i think we got we saw some of these already dimensional sage um irene that looks really cool that's a rare card diamond dragon dude sapphire dragon sage apprentice so they got a lot, a lot more like dragons and stuff i think i like these uh magic cards the most oh so we have a uh, ultra rare here wolf breed lakaos yeah he looks pretty cool another little little fluff shard stealer ghost that must be kind of like a good catch-all card logan amethyst is a rare support diamond prince ari dude just look at the art 
it's so it's so nice dude sages ode deja vu deja vu deja vu oh here we go okay here is the legendary card of this starter deck dragon sage frayer yo that looks really good nice yeah no ooh, ultra rare dweller beast umbra very sweet dusk sage vermilion diamond dragon another sapphire dragon another magical fluff not as cute as the other ones it's a little more intense and we have this sage of dreams i like the art in this one too yeah so let's actually open up that booster pack now and i think the intent behind these booster packs is that they are to um, help you upgrade your structure decks though i know that they sell like booster boxes and that kind of stuff on the game crafter um also the packs are very sturdy very sturdy packs i would say we have a ooh, clay sigma rare looks very cool mind jacker creep it's just a little creepy dude look at his hands i would say it's a little creepy yo what is this monstrosity got tadpole call from the grave rise from your grave i have to make the reference man Prismatic Punk, Zack. I like the Prismatic Punks. Uh, Maze Shield, Space Probe. Yo, it's Ultra Rare. Space Probe. Nice. Call of a Guardian. It's pretty cool. Just doing a, doing a good old block. Got Sean. Demon Frog. Yo, I love his, like, pot belly. Uh, we got this, uh, this guard. Bastion. That's cool. I like their headphones. Call of the Shinju. Whoa, okay, what? What's this? What's the question marks? Is this like a really nice pull? Yo, I have no idea, dude. So it's um this code here, card number 41. It's just it's just like a bunch of question marks. It's probably like a secret rare, dude. What does it do? Special call up to two Shiju tribe mirages of 5,000 power or less from your deck in stun position that shuffle your deck. Uh, that seems pretty good for just a card. You get like two dudes. I think that's a good one. I think that was a good pull. Foolish Defense, Call of the Amser. Oh my god, oh my god, look at that. Swamp Guardian Ellen. Yo, Dusk Lampad. I like it. I dig it. I like those the spooky cards. Uh Time Paradox. Yo, this is so nice. It's so cool. Once again, keep in mind, this is made just by one person. It's so impressive. We're gonna keep that card on the top here. Well, sort of on the top. I'm going to stick it underneath this deck so we know where it all came from. Let's open up some of these. Yeah, so let's pull the, the booster packs on screen. We'll open up these ones last, kind of like cap it off. So let's cut these open and see if we can get something really sweet inside. I, I don't know if you can get anything better than the question mark. It's question marks. I think it's like a secret. Um, by the way, this art right here is so nice i was considering using it as the art for the thumbnail for this video but um it didn't work so well as a thumbnail but still like it's so nice i like it quite a bit yo <laughs> look at this matt or uh, practical magic everyone loves some practical magic i'm gonna keep these dude it's just so beautiful so we got this ancient star artisan this is a rare card well, same same quality here Batchy, another rare. Yo, look at this, like, space cop. Fluffo Mimi Police. Nice. Pollen Mochi. Yo, makes my eyes itch just looking at it. Uh, Draconic uh, Chronicler Rita. Yeah, she's cute. Magical Fluff Plush. We have a Hunter Apprentice. Book of Knowledge. Damascus Blade. Yo, that looks sweet. So it looks like something after, like, out of, like, Monster Hunter. A uh, Diver Android Ethos, just an uh, uncommon paradigm shift. Ooh, ultra rare, Vampire Trader, Sirius. Nice. Put that in the, that vampire desk. Ooh, another ultra rare, Fluffamimi Trickster. Yo. We have a rare Fluffamimi Soldier. You can make a Fluffamimi deck, dude. Magical Fluff, just all the fluff. It's it's freaking uh, Winnie the Pooh, dude. Tabby Mochi, sounds delicious. We have Night Hunter Blazin. He looks awesome. Blank Battle Android. Star Collector. Yo, whoa, dude, another question mark card. Replicant Tank Iota. Yo. I don't know what these question mark cards are. Yo, I assume it's going to be so. I assume it's something real good. 
Yeah, we got a tactical retreat. Do another question mark card. Replicant tank Zeta. Yo, we got like two in the same. I, d I don't really know how rare or anything these are, but these are really cool looking. Yeah, super cool. Yo, another fancy little fluff. That's adorable. Uh, Ink Mochi. We got a rare vampire bro. Blood Moon Prince. Uh, Draconic Pet Torch. Little Honey Mochi. Look at that. It's adorable. Yo, the art on this one looks sweet. Spy Battle Android Link. Rookie Vamp. A little cute little albino batchy. Drill Blade. Another rare Midnight Starlight. Dude, another. It was a legendary. This is a, a Sage Starkin South. What? Another one. God of Bats. Gamazots. Dude, the art's really sweet on this one, too. Nice. And then, of course, we got our, our practical magic. It's adorable. Yo, this one's really nice. So I'll leave uh, that one on top. That's a pretty good chunk of cards for, like, a booster pack. I don't remember the pricing of these. I remember paying, like... Oh, I think I already cut this. I remember paying, like, a hundred... Maybe I didn't cut this. A uh, hundred something bucks for for everything here, including shipping. Um, just keep in mind that it's made by Game Crafters, so they had to make it to order. Like, they printed these, like, specifically for me when I placed the order. So, you know, just keep that in mind when you uh, when you place an order for this. But, you know, I, th I think it's very cool. Uh, let's see. Yep, so we have that. We'll set that off to the side as well. This is the Spy Battle Link, or Spy Battle Android Link. And so let's go with these a little bit quicker. Ooh, Reflect, that is a, uh, that's an ultra rare. Really nice artwork there. Yo, another ultra rare, Draconic Familiar Cinder. Does he have a, a goatee thing? I think it's part of his, uh, I think it's part of his, like, shirt. Dude, another question mark. Replicant Hacker Chi. Yo, I like this whole, I like what they got going on here with, this, like, this techno, like, the metal ones. They look really sweet. Got another Night Hunter Blazin, another Winnie the Pooh, Pollen Mochi, a little cute little magical fluff. Rookie Hunter Shannon. Yeah, sweet. A little, little Mochi, Albino Batchy, Shy Starkin, Book Science. I don't know how many cards there are possible. Got a Roaming Thirst. Just, you know, gotta, gotta drink some, you know? Oh, cool. So we have another legendary uh, Sage Starkin South. And another Fluffamimi Trickster. You know, it's actually probably not bad getting multiples of these cards because they would be very good if you were trying to make a deck and, you know, you want multiples. Yo, that card is adorable. Fluffamimi Nurse. She's very cute. Rogue Battle Android. That guy looks gnarly. Severed Android Arm. It's brutal. Ooh, another Damascus Blade. Tribal Markings. Yo, another, like, question mark. Replicant Hacker Psy. Very cool. Oh, it says right here, Secret. Yo. Dude. Yeah. We got another secret. Hold on. <laughs> so we got a couple secrets. This pack was better than the other one. This one has like three. So we have Iota. We have Psy. And then this is a, a rare artisan. A cute little mochi. Uh, this person looks awesome. Augmented Hunter. Yeah, dude. I think we th Have we gotten them before? I don't know. Got Batchy. A little cute little Batchy. A uh, cute little Alice. Dragon or Draconic Pet Singe. And then, of course, Link here. So, yeah, I think we got, like, several secrets in this one. Which is it's very sweet, dude. I don't know actually how rare they are or how rare they're supposed to be. But still very cool. Where's the other one? I, I thought we got another one. Yeah, we got Chi. I like. I think I like the artwork on this one a lot, too. Yeah, very cool. I am aiming to build a <laughs> secret rare deck now. I'm going to make a deck out of all the secret rares. I don't even know if that would be good. Oh, by the way. We're gonna open up this one, Dream Seeker Booster Pack, 18 random cards. Nice, I don't know how random the random is. Like, I don't know for Game Crafter if they're like, so you get like one secret every X number of cards or whatever. We have Dark Moon Vampire Silver, yo. And these are much different sets, so we should start seeing like a lot of different cards. We have uh, Killian, I'm not too sure how to pronounce that, but they look very cool. We have a Supper Time. Yo, Supper Time. It's coming up soon, you know. Prismatic Punk Zoe. I do like the Prismatic Punks. Albino Night Dragon. Got this Velcan Vampire. Serenity Planes. Yo, I love, like, the trippy artwork. Super, like, 80s style. Power Shot. Secret of Light Lum. Adorable. Looks like something from, like, a Mario game. 
Copycat, oh my god, look at that cat. That's crazy. We've got a power shot. Another prismatic punk, Zion. Blocker dummy. We have a rare Killian. Oh, same card. Nice. We've got a double. Double Killian. Albino Knight Dragon. And then the Secret of Light Cobcat. Did not get any secret rares in that one. That must be a little bit harder than it looks. I might I might have just had like really good luck. So what was the big pull of this one? We got a couple of rares. Did we get anything higher than a rare? I think we just... Oh, we did. Serenity Plains is Ultra. Yeah, we got two rares and an Ultra in that one. Yeah. Okay, cool. So we're going to leave the, the Super 80s one there. Let's open up this one, the Metal Giants, which I think could be very cool because I do like these secret metal cards. I hope you all are having fun watching this video. I think it's just a blast opening these card games, especially like these super indie card games like this. Yo, rare off the bat, Blackened Chrono. Wait, is this like a reference to the maker of the game? That's super cool, dude. I like it. I like it a lot. You got Fair Play, a Skull Ice Cannon, Shield of Hati, a Support Call, another Demon Frog, dude. Yo, Ultra Rare. This is Exosuit Rogue Drake. That looks awesome. That looks super cool. We have Lance Amser Mist. She looks awesome. We have a Diamond Darken. Also looks really cool. Looks like something out of like uh, like Castlevania or something with like, like that chained up book. Gunslinger Myra. I think we've seen her before. Support call. Another support call. This is a rare Maverick Dragon Rider. Probably has like really good stats. Uh, Kaon. Another rare. Looks very cool. Another Mist. A Draconic Familiar Lara. She looks awesome as well. Replacement Chips. And then a Stoic Bounty Hunter Vim. I would say the, the big pull from that one is the uh, the Chrono here. This is beautiful. Uh, let's see. We have... Let's do this one next. This is the Magicka of Dusk. I remember right, the booster packs uh, on Game Crafter were like... About what you would expect for the booster... Or the price of like a... Uh, like an actual like a Magic booster pack or something. They're like 80 or 90 bucks. Something like that. Uh, it was the Starkin Professor Gamma. It's a rare. Very cute. We have a Paralysis Antidote. Starkin Egg. Hold on. I need to scoot scoot some stuff over so I have space. We got Starkin Egg. Petrification. Demon Slayer Kendra. A little cute little Cinder Mochi. That was freaking adorable. Yo. Ultra rare. Ren Izumi. Very cool, dude. Got a little baby. A little baby Starkin. Oh, look at this dude's tongue. He's crazy. Four-winged raven. That's that's rad, dude. Got this demon slayer. Monochrome. That looks sweet. Man, I, I really dig the art style. It's very cool. I wonder how long it takes for her to like make all this stuff. It's like pretty detailed art too. Like there's like books and like Yeah, we got another gamma, by the way. We have the All Feast Himmer. I'm gonna go with that. Rise from your grave and another cute adorable Cinder Mochi. So let's see what the big pull. So we got we got the gamma. We also got the life amulet. I think those are probably Oh no no we got the Renazumi. Yeah, that's that's gonna be the big pull from that pack. Alright, so we're gonna open up this one last. Because <laughs> it, it's my favorite art, dude. I got it. It's my favorite art. I just love like the white silver haired characters. So let's open up one of these. Uh, we've already opened up a couple of these. Let's see if we can get some um, more secrets. Some secret secrets. I wonder if the secrets are cards that like she doesn't spoil. Um, yeah, I don't know. There's a rare. Blank Papyrus of the Imp. Ah, oh, teamwork. Yeah, that's pretty cool. We have another Vampire Silver. Breakpoint. Ooh, Dual Orichalcum Blades. That looks sweet. Rise from your grave, Star Explorer Chase. Oh, so that is uh, an ultra rare there. Very cute, ultra rare. Dimension Leaper Lemurian. Wolfbreed Subaru. Got another got moon lizard. Yo, look at this dude. Look at this little, uh, little chubby archer. Oh, I like the art on that one too. It's also very cute. Magic Circle of Beginning. Got a rare balance charm. Got this hunter dude. Rookie Exorcist. Uh, Kendra and a Mirage of Destiny with really cool, really cool looking artwork. I love it, like it has the uh, the back of the card 
like in the artwork. So our big pull from that pack was the Star Explorer Chase. I'm just kind of gonna try to get all these, get all these down here. Like I said, I am gonna play this game. Uh, I'm gonna play with my girlfriend and see how uh, how it plays. Uh, I'm very, very, very interested. Yeah, I mean, I find this game very inspirational, to be completely honest. If you're watching this far into the video, um, I find this game very inspirational, because I would love to try my hand at making a card game someday. Prismatic Punk Xander. I love the Prismatic Punks, dude. You know, he's, once again, he's just taking a bath, dude. With some tentacles. It, just come on in. He's got some tentacles. Got, like, this Earl of Peppermint Cake Roll. Uh, Light Beam of Hope. Fiery, man. It's just all fiery. Got this uh, chest... Yo, got another Chessite King. I love the art in this card. I just love that expression down there. But Possessed Scarecrow. Item Retrieval. Looks like looks like they're stealing, dude. Rules of Nature. Another Prismatic Punk. Petrification. Magic Circle. Angelic Barrier. Very nice. Another, another little chubby bunny. We've got a Waltz. Gunslinger Myra. I, was, I love the art in her, too. And we've got Saber Wilder Quill. So, yeah, this Chessite King is the big pull from that. And then finally... The pack that has my favorite art. It'd be cool if I can get that card. I don't know. I don't know how, how rare that card is. Or if it's even a card in the set. Maybe it's just like maybe it's just like splash art. I don't know, dude. I don't know. We'll find out. So let's see what we get. Oh, that looks cool. Cyber Machina Tau. I really dig the art in that one. We have this Suzaki Warrior Key, Baby Jargoon. A Dusk Lampad. Another like really cool looking artwork. Tiny Navigator. And I think, by the way, you're seeing some cards here that we've seen before. Is Some of the other ones that I opened up, some of these fancy ones, are kind of like compilations. So they have, like, cards from multiple different sets, which is why, you know, I wanted to pick them up. Prince of Dragons. So we can get, like, a good, you know, smattering of things. Adorable little wildfire. Look at that face, dude. Battle Cry. Stop Spell. Winged Shield of Light. Oh, dude, here's another question mark. Another secret. Hall of the Shiju. Nice. I got two of those. Sword of the Ancient Gods. That looks awesome. This person looks sweet, too. Gembu Warrior Iki Nomura. Yo. Yeah. Very nice. Battle Android Alt. Also looks very cool. Love the art there. And a Kirin Warrior Tachibana. Hikaru Tachibana? I think something like that. I love the artwork on this one. Even though it's not the secret... Um, it's the only one we got, and it's it's really cool looking. So that was my card game spotlight video for Domin Rhapsody. Once again, this card game is made by a soul person, Anna or Kronos. Kronos? Chrono from uh, Mexico. Once again, I think it's incredibly impressive. If you want to check it out, I do have links in the description down below. I am very glad that I did because this has just been so much fun, especially just checking out someone's like you know passion and i think it just turned out really well like everything looks very nice it's very very colorful i've seen some other card games that some folks have made and they don't even look even close to as good as this one does especially if you're into that kind of like this art style um and you know if you're like into more male characters because there's a lot more male characters in this than a lot of the uh the waifu card games that i cover i think this could be like something that you would like to buy and collect i think it's really cool i'm not really sure about like the pull rates on some of these because some packs I got, I, I think I got really lucky and I got like multiple secrets. Like this, whatever pack was this one that had like the three secrets, I think was probably pretty crazy, but I actually don't know what the luck is on these. But I mean, these are really, really cool looking cards. Like, man, just look at that. It's, it's super cool. Anyway, if you liked the video, then, you know, like, comment, subscribe, check out Domin Rhapsody in the description down below. Maybe support me on my Patreon if you'd like to support me directly, and I will see you next time for some more excellent card game content. Yeah, dude. I will see you later. Man, just look at that. Just look at this. Yeah, we'll, we'll see you later. <laughs>